by unknown intruders. If anyone is still out there, you need to evacuate now. <sighs> Can a guy have a nap in peace? Wait, how come the alarm is on? Repeat to all personnel, we have been boarded by unknown Okay, that doesn't sound good. Which way were the escape pods again? I knew I should have paid more attention during orientation. I think maybe they were over this way? We really could use some signs around here. Oh! Oh, well that's a bad sign. Maybe it was back where I came from? Let's hope I don't run into any of our new guests. Oh, crap! Uh, uh, help! Oh. What happened? The Arcata is under attack. They're after the Star Generator. You better get off this scow if you value your life. Astral bodies. Oh, crap. Oh, crap! What did he mean by astral bodies? Okay, thanks I guess. I don't see how this is gonna help me, but the guy seemed to think it was important. Let's just hope I don't end up like him. Oh, no. This is bad. This must be where they kept the star generator. What's that flashing on the screen? Oh, great. This is just what I needed. A time limit. I gotta find an escape pod. Fast! <gasps> that was close. Let's hope I don't run into him again. Or any of his buddies, for that matter. Where the hell am I? I don't think I've ever been on this level before. But those sure look like bay doors to me. Let's see. That's got it. I know, just gotta find my way down there. Sorry, buddy. Warning. Outer bay doors are now open. Please remember to wear protective clothing in the pressurized areas. Ah, never thought I'd be this happy to see an airlock. Okay, let's see. Need a, uh, well, not that. There we go. Hey, I wonder what this thing is. You know what? I'll take it with me. Could always use a souvenir from this lovely experience. Okay, here we go. Hope this fits. Okay, now to get out of here. There's gotta be a button or something that'll open that airlock. There are way too many buttons. Ah, here. Perfect. I am so out of here. Oh, good. More buttons. Let's see. Ah, perfect. To think, all I wanted was a little nap. This is so not what I thought I'd be waking up to. Oh, sweet flippin' supernova, that's a lot of buttons. Let's try this one first. Well, that was lucky. Yep, that's a wreck. I'll take the shard of windshield glass with me, just in case. 
Well, this sure is one desolate place. Hopefully there's a settlement around here. Or maybe even just some shelter. I wonder if these plants are edible. No, definitely not edible. Man, this heat is really something. I gotta find some water somewhere. Otherwise, I'm gonna be in big trouble soon. Where the hell am I going? Hang on, what's that over there? There's something sticking out of that ridge over there. Could be a weird rock formation, I guess, but I'm gonna go take a closer look. Wait, what was that? I'm lucky that didn't just collapse under me. Last thing I need right now is a compound fracture. At least things can't get any worse. What was that? Oh crap, that's a Sarian spider droid. And it seems to be following me. That's not good if it gets anywhere near me. Maybe it can hide somewhere over by these? Whatever these are? That thing is still down there. And this sun is absolutely scorching! If I go around... Ugh! Okay. Where am I now? And who built this place? At least it's good to know this place is inhabited. Let's hope they're friendly. Oh! Okay, whatever's down there doesn't sound too friendly. Oh crap, I hate it when I'm right! Whew. What's this now? What would happen if I blocked this up? Aha! What am I getting myself into? Yeah, no. Are those laser beams? Somebody really wants to keep people out. Maybe we could turn the beams on themselves? That's done it! Hope no one will get mad at me for that. But hey, desperate measures. And you gotta admit, that was pretty- ah! Nobody saw that! You've gotta be kidding me. Acid drops? Really? What's next? A ravenous cave-dwelling beast? Please don't let there actually be a ravenous cave-dwelling beast. Boy, it's pretty dark in here. I have been monitoring your travels on our planet. It appears that you are up the proverbial estuary without means of locomotion. Let us see if you are worthy of our assistance. On the surface lives a beast called Orat. Dispose of him and bring back evidence of your conquest. Good luck, strange one. What the hell just happened? At least my little spider friend seems to have disappeared. So that's a relief. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Two of them? Maybe I could just drop this boulder on top of him. Come on. Come on. Crap. Well, time for plan B. Whatever the hell plan B is. Oh, good. I don't think he spotted me. Maybe he could just slip by? Oh, crap! Oh, double crap! No, 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 no! Get away from me! Get away from me! I hate spiders! I hate them so much! Ah! Ah! They can hide in here. Holy crap, what is that? I'm trapped! Well, that was easy. 
Could do without the smell, though. Hey, what's this? Ew, it's a chunk of... Well, that weed alien dude said he wanted proof. I sure hope this qualifies. Hit it better, because this thing is... Ugh, gooey. Hey, where'd the other one go? Oh well, somewhere far away, I hope. Before me your proof of Orat's defeat for my inspection. Come forward. Please, don't be alarmed. We intend no harm. We are cautious, however. Others don't share our way of life. Welcome to Corona. We have promised you transportation. It is a skimmer. It hovers approximately one half meter above the traveling surface. The skimmer is programmed to take you to a settlement on the other side of Corona called Ulitz Flats. You can make further travel arrangements there. Good luck, strange one. Hey, wait, can I? Okay, never mind then. Well, this is great. If I'm a zillion light years from home, my rod got blown up, and all I got for a souvenir was this weird cartridge about... Hang on. Let me just see what's on this thing. Whoever shall hear this, I am Dr. Slash Bohol. I am a scientist with the Star Generator Project aboard the Star Lab Arcana. I have come to believe our progress has been monitored by others. I fear that the Sarians may have learned of our mission. If my fears prove true, the people of our universe are in serious jeopardy. If the Star Generator is used as intended, it will help preserve life for eons to come. If used for evil, will enslave everyone who opposes the Sarians. Encoded within this cartridge are plans and specifications for constructing a new star generator. Please guard this with your life and return it to Xenon as quickly as possible. If the star generator has fallen into the wrong hands, you must destroy it. Its self-destruct code is 6858. Good luck. This is really bad. If the Sarians have the star generator, and we could pretty much kiss the galaxy goodbye. Oh, boy. All I wanted was a little nap. This is not what I expected at all. This is semi-bleak at best. That being said, I think I could do with a good drink right about now. Can I help you? Say, this is a genuine fault and sand skimmer. I've been looking for one just like it. I wonder if you would accept 30 buckazoids for it. Um, it's not really mine to sell. Fine, be that way. 
What a strange guy. Okay, this is my final offer. Did you just power walk around the building? I'll give you 30 buckazoids and I'll throw in this swell jetpack. You'll love it. Is it a deal, yes or no? Okay, sure. Great, glad we could do business. Hope your stay in Eulet's Flats is an interesting one. Oh, it already is. Uh, how about that drink? At least the tunes are good. Let's hope the beer matches up. What'll it be? Um, what do you got? I got beer. There's two buckazoids. I'll have that then. The what? The beer. I'll have the beer. Here you go, smart ass. Thank you. Yeah, so, there I was cruising through Sector HH when I spot a blip on my scanner. So I head towards it, you see, and right there in front of me sits the Delta. Just sitting there, you know? My heart start hyper-warping on me, so I'm reaching for the throne, eh? And all of a sudden, there's an incredible flash of light, you see? And just like that, a little planetoid explodes into a big ball of fire. I tell ya, I moved the throttle and got out of there quick smart. The Delta? That must be the Sarian mothership. I'm gonna need a ship. But... I'm gonna need money to pay for a ship. Oh boy. Now how does this work? Oh, clearly that's not good. I, I should avoid these. Alright, here we go. Oh, that was lucky. Okay, one more. Woo-wee! This should be good, actually. Oh wait, just one more. Did you hear something? Whew. Oh, that should do it. Now I just gotta find someone to sell me a ship. Howdy, bucko! Can I interest you in one of the finest little used spaceships in the galaxy? This one's quite a unique little unit. It was owned by a little old lady from Glanzadrome, and she can be yours for only 99 buckazoids. That sounds pretty good. I tell ya, I think you've made a wise decision. Hop on in. <laughs> well, geez, guy, it seems it's developed some minor malfunction since we acquired it. Much as I'd like to, I can't refund your money. Company policy. But I can give you 70 buckazoids credit on any other ship. Look around, see what you like. Say there, pal. Who, me? It's come to my attention that you're in the market for some transportation. Who told you that? I may be able to help, if you'll follow me. I'd like to show you a fine little piece of machinery that'll knock your eyes out. So where is it? Right here, pal. What the hell? This is a stick-up. I'll just relieve you of your cash. Thank you very much. Now go straight back the way you came in. Deviate from that path in your grail kibble. Understand? Go on, move! Heh. <laughs> uh, well, joke's on you, you little twerp. I still have the 200 buckazoids at one in my shoe. There's a man with a good eye. This here is the keenest little scrambler in the hemisphere. Handled like a dream. Perfect for cruising the asteroid fields. And with your 70 buckazoid credit, that would come to 144 buckazoids. Deal. You've made a wise decision. The keys are in her. It's been a heck of a pleasure doing business with you. Oh, by the way, you're gonna need a droid to help you fly that thing. Well, good luck. Come again. Oh, I'm sure it's just kidding about that. He wasn't kidding. Damn it. Where am I gonna find some place that'll sell me a droid? Welcome to Droids Be Us, the finest Emporium for mechanized beings in the Quadrant. We have a complete line of droids for any purpose imaginable. Well, almost any. All top of the line, but I suppose you will probably be interested in our sale items. Please walk this way. This model right here is ideal for flight systems operations. It will pilot any modern fighter or cruiser. And it is one of the most experienced droids we carry. 
I got it from some gambling type who was required to pay up or perish. I ask only 45 buckazoids for it. Any cruiser, you say? I didn't stutter, human. I'll take it. Very good, human. I'm sure you'll be most pleased. Come along, robot. Lead the way, boss! Is it supposed to sound like that? No returns, human. All right, come along, robot. I'm on it, Skipper! Please don't make me regret this. Regret what? I am most anxious to serve you, sir. I hope you find my services satisfactory. My, but that's a smart-looking flight suit you have on. It sure feels good to be out of that stuffy metal market. I thought I was doomed to sit there and rust away. People say I talk too much. Do you think I talk too much? I don't think I talk too much. I'm going to shut up now. Thank you. Shall I head for, sir? Set a course for Sector HH, robot. Droid, sir. I'm a droid. Sure you are. Sector HH it is. I will proceed with course entry. Very good, robot. Still a droid, sir. Hey, where do you think you're going with my ship? Off into the purple yonder we go! I thought you said you'd stop talking. Sorry, boss. to speak, boss? If you stop calling me boss, sure. Can't make that promise, boss. What I can tell you, though, is that we're heading straight into an asteroid field. What? Evasive maneuvers, robot! And the droid... I, I don't care! Just do it! We're having fun now, aren't we, boss? I swear I'll... Relax, boss. We're out of it now. We have established visual contact with the ship of Saurian origin, sir. The name Deltar is confirmed. You might consider the fact that we are in danger by being anywhere near the ship. Thank you, droid. I'm well aware of that. Hey, you remembered my name. Anyway, I hope you didn't waste money on the extended warranty when you purchased me. I will slow our approach and stand off at a safe distance. Good. Now set a course for Xenon. Are we leaving? Oh, good. I'll rendezvous with you there later. Uh, where are you going with that jetpack, boss? I really wish you wouldn't ask. Okay, now what? I don't see a panel or a way of opening this. This is just typical, isn't it? You come all this way, and now you're stuck in an alien airlock with no way in and no... Okay, that was a freebie. Okay, now what? Oh, I hear voices behind that door. Probably a bad idea to go out there. There's gotta be another way out of this room. Yeah, all right. Stupid metal grating. Oh, man. Hey, a washer dryer. Maybe I can find a disguise in there. Well, that was another freebie. Hang on, what's this in the pocket? It's an ID card. Butson Freem. I wonder if that's a common Sarian name. Oh uh, well, I guess I'm about to find out. Uh, wait a minute. You talking to me? Uh, yeah, uh, can you point me the direction of the star generator? You mean the star crusher? Uh, yeah, sure. No idea, I just work here. Cool, well, carry on then. Shut up, Butson. Where are you off to, Butson? Uh, nowhere. Nowhere. Mm hmm, that's what I thought. Oh, crap. What the hell are you? No, 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 get away from me. Shoot, shoot. No, don't you dare. Don't you. <sighs> uh. 
Oh, dead end. Now back off, you! What are you looking at? Uh, nothing? Well, leave me alone. I'm guarding the Star Crusher. All right, so you are. There's gotta be a way past him. Maybe I could sneak up on him or something. Ah, who am I kidding? That guy was massive. He'd snap me in half. Oh, you again. You stay the hell away from me, you hear? If I only had some way of incapacitating him... What the hell am I thinking? There's no way. I don't know why I thought this was a good idea. All I wanted was a little on-the-job shot eye. Not to go undercover on an enemy battle cruiser with no weapon and no plan whatsoever. I mean, it's not like I'll just find a ray gun lying around. Welcome to the weapons dispensary. I will assist you. Please supply me with your identification card. Uh, my card? Oh, right. Here you go. Excuse me, I shall retrieve your weapon. Well then. Oh, hey, what are those? Stun grenades. Don't mind if I do. Here is your weapon. No firing in the ship. I'll keep that in mind. Boy, I hope my luck doesn't run out anytime soon. Here goes. <coughs> I don't think that was a stun grenade. Oh well. Hey! Oh, sorry, no time to talk. Ah! Oh, that's not good. Well, that luck had to run out sometime. Let's just hope I can make it to the star generator without taking a pulse rate blast to the forehead first. I should probably stop talking to myself, too. Holy crap! Where the hell did he come from? I'll just take that force field remote control. Thank you kindly. Now, what was that self-destruct code? Detonation cycle has begun. Please evacuate to a safe distance. No, rarely. This is going to be one hell of a bang. If you're still listening to this, you're wasting precious seconds. I'd skedaddle if I were you. Wait, what the hell do I do now? Escape pod, escape pod. They gotta have escape pods. Thought I saw someone. Yes! Oh, baby, off I scoot! I mean, the color's not really my thing, but I think I'll somehow manage. Three, two, one, blast off! Roger Wilco, on behalf of Old Xenon, we thank you for saving your people from certain doom. The Star Generator technology is safe inside the data cartridge. Now a new Star Generator can be built, and can carry out its original task. You're an all-around hero. Thank you, Roger Wilco, for cleaning up our galaxy. Hey, what's the deal now? Is the janitor Ava? Shut up.
So, do you own King's Quest 2?